Praise the Lord and God, Richard, bless each and every one of you out there this morning. I just have a quick testimony that has blessed my heart and my soul so much. So I'm so eager to share it with somebody. That's why I'm doing this video recording. As you can see, I'm at work. Something happened a while ago, which, uh, I mean, I, can, I don't have words to describe and to tell you. But all that I can say is that the Holy Spirit came down. Sometimes a word that you will speak can grieve him so much. And a word that you, can, you will say or speak can make him so happy and you will have to come down and testify of it. And that is the experience that I want to share with you. Yes, we were working, we were, we are working with a, a coronavirus patient a while ago and everybody's tensed. Everybody is so nervous and everything that you can think of. And to me and for me, I'm trusting the Lord. I will do all the necessary things that I'm supposed to do. But the rest are, is, in, is in his hands. So one of the, uh, my colleagues in the room, you know, turned around and asked me a question. Isaac, you don't seem to be, you know, afraid or you're not tense in terms of what is, you know, what we're having to deal with, you know, working with a coronavirus patient or being in an environment that the corona patient is. And, you know, um, so everybody's nervous. In a nutshell, everybody's nervous to go there. But when he said that, I turned around and I asked him, brother, can I ask you a question? He said, yes, go ahead. I said, listen, if I cannot trust God, if I cannot trust the Lord to protect me, to shield me of any infection of coronavirus, how can I trust him to give me the salvation that he has promised me of? To take me into the rapture, to bring me before his presence one of these days, that is a heaven for me to go to. But immediately I said that, the atmosphere in the room changed. I could feel the presence of the Holy Spirit right there. So I turned around and I said, brother, can you feel the presence of the Holy Spirit? He said, yes, I can. And you know how um, our African-American brethren are? They can demonstrate things and you, it's, the, woo, and it's it, that kind of things. And, you know, it became singing and just a happy moment. My brother, my sister. So I want to ask, tell you something. That if you cannot trust God as a believer, if you cannot trust the Lord as a child of God to protect you, to shield you, to guide you and your family, to protect you and your family in this condition, this moment that fear is everywhere. How much more are you waiting to see him in glory? How much more can you trust him for that? How much more would you have faith? For the rapture. My precious brothers and sisters. Trust him for everything. He did not ask you only to trust him. To take you to heaven. But he asked you to trust him in everything. Do not be afraid. Fear is of the devil. If he can overcome you with fear. He has overpowered you. The scriptures tells you. Be still and know that I am God. My brothers and my sister, if he has shielded you from your mother's womb, guided you, protected you, and took you through all kinds of things, the diseases and the moment when you should have died, name them the various car accidents that you've been, you have been involved or whatever, all kinds of situations that you, you've encountered in life. If he has protected you out of each of these ways, how much more can't he and would he not? protect you in this so-called demon of corona coronavirus. Trust the Lord for everything. Believe him for everything. Do not be afraid. Be courageous. Do the necessary things that you have to do. The social distances that we're talking about, 
whatever that you can put on to protect yourself, I don't care. But those are not what is protecting you as a believer. What is protecting you? It is the blood of Jesus Christ that you have placed yourself and your children and your family and your loved ones that you have placed them under. That is your protection. That is what is guiding you. That is what you have. That is the arm of, armor of the believer. Have faith in God. Trust him. Be still and know that he is God. He will never fail you. A thousand will fall on the hand, right hand and a ten thousand on the left hand. None of these would he allow it to come near the believer. What is your problem? Why are you afraid? You're afraid because the work, the, the job is getting slow and they'll ask you to go home? Brother, sister, he will make a way when there seems to be no way. Solomon, in all his array of what beauty and wisdom that he had, could not compare himself to the lily that grows on the wayside. He has brought us this far. He will not leave you. And the song says, how can I give up now? I've come too far from where I started from. Nobody told me that a road will be ever easy. I don't believe that he brought me this far to leave me. I don't believe that he has brought me to leave to be in year the year 2020. And it's not time for me to for him to take me away. And coronavirus can take me away. Oh, please. What is coronavirus? To the power of God. Brother, sister, if it is not time for him to take you away, nothing. I don't care how many demons from hell, from whatever, from whatever, cannot take you away. Well, Richard, bless you. Be encouraged. Let's continue to praise him. Make sure that you are saying the right thing. Always. Because I'm telling you, what comes out of your mouth can grieve the Holy Spirit. And what comes out of your mouth can bring him down. To show you his glory. And when he does come down. You can see. How feet. Flexes his muscles. Praise be to his holy name. God Richard bless you. Let's go and take care of those patients out there. Amen.